everyone, we're here at the official Week Zero event with Devon, Anuva, and Mahir of 4909 Balerica Robotics. They're here to tell us more about their intake and elevator mechanisms that they're using this year for this challenge. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for FIRST students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash FIRST. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Can you start us off talking a bit more about your intake? Yeah, so uh, this year we really wanted to prioritize a full width intake and because it gave us more flexibility in just being able to intake. So when it, the way it works is when the intake comes down, we have a double roller system where the back roller is bigger. Can you put the intake down, please? So they spin in opposite directions, and it just sucks up the cone. That's good. And it brings it up to a position. We've seen really promising results with this back TPU wheel. It, uh, it, in our shop, it centers the cone sometimes. So we plan on experimenting with that and making maybe the front roller also an auger wheel and seeing how it works. And uh, the way after this, what happens is the end effector. So after we intake it, the next thing is that the end effector takes it. So we just get to grab it with that claw. It has two actuators. Can you press us real quick? There you go. So um, it actually has a double motor system on it. So it has one motor to pivot and one motor to clamp. What's really great about our clamping motor is that we can have multiple set positions on there. So when we're trying to get different pieces like cones or cubes, uh, we can do that in different ways. And we can make sure that we have a really good grip on it. So if we're going over the cable protectors or if we're going you know, across the field super quick, we won't let go of that cube. Also in this position, uh, you can see that the flange is pointing upward. So even if we are bumping around a little bit, um, we aren't going to let go of that cube. Sorry of that cone under any circumstances, and you can see Devon shaking it up a bit. Um, I'm going to ask you guys to step back a little bit, because now we're going to extend the elevator um, to its highest position. So this would be in the high node, um, and go all the way out like that. And you can see it getting ready to score. And if it was going to score, we just dunk it, and it scores it, which is super awesome. We also have this um, arm pivot on that as well. Uh, what's super awesome about this and what Mihir is going to talk about right now is all the operator has to do is press a couple of buttons. Yeah, so one of our goals this season was to have the least amount of driver input possible. So the entire handoff procedure is automated and our goal is to make that faster throughout the season as we tune it and get it to the best place it could be. So the robot tries to track what's in it so that it can automatically, on the click of a button, score whatever node we want it to. That way we don't have to worry about what's in our robot or what button to press, and it's a really easy, streamlined process. This robot's really cool. You have some really unique mechanisms on here. What was your prototyping process like? Sure, so another one of our main goals this season was to have a lot of iterations, a lot of different prototypes, and make it so that we can get the most information possible. When we started off, we split up into two main groups. So one was the elevator slash shooter, um, and the other one was um, game piece manipulation. So in game piece manipulation, we had two major prototypes, an actuating funnel, and then this prototype you see here, the double roller. What actually happened is that actuating funnel turned into our end effector. So you can see that actuating part, and we got rid of the funnel wheel but um, we still have grippy wheels on here, I guess. Um, and that double roller, which we prototyped and we tested a lot, we tested a lot with different types of wheels. As you can see, these super cool shaped wheels um, that we had printed, they're really awesome. And that's another thing that we were really lucky to be able to test. When we were looking at prototyping, we were also really looking at the best way that we can combine all of our resources and best way that we can combine um, and keep a low CG, having to score on those high nodes make it so that you ultimately do have to reach up or shoot out. So we actually took everything into consideration. We said we can try shooting. We had a shooting prototype that actually worked pretty all right, to be <laughs> fair. Um, we also had um, a lot of CAD sketches of different types of elevators, pink arms, 
um, actuating elevators and obviously what we have now with tilted elevator with a claw on the end. Um, so being able to have a lot of those prototyping, um, and we still have a lot in our robotic shop, we have a lot of those prototypes that we can, while we're working on the actual one, we can keep on trying improving, and we can add new wheels and new centering mechanisms, make it lighter, make it faster, make it quicker, so that they can start coding on them while we're designing the final version, and they already had half of the code written for the elevator or the end factor or stuff like that by the time we put it on there. Um, so even that, and then going further into like the chassis, having um, knowing from the beginning of the season that we're going to be using um, SDS Swerve, and being able to have a literal just like Swerve bot on here um, was awesome because then programming could start doing autos, um, and you know at the test field at WPI they could just go there and test their autos without even having like before we even knew what kind of subsystems we would have on here. They were really ahead on that, so that was pretty awesome. Yeah. So you mentioned that your collector, because it's over the bumper, you have a really wide area that you can collect from. You mentioned that it's self-centering, which is really cool. Can we see that in action? Uh, we can try it. I don't <laughs> promise you that you'll see much, but we can try it. Go for it. Yeah, so it's, it's just a little, but you saw how the cone moved a little bit inwards. Yeah. And w this was thrown on kind of last night, so we're still going to prototype it more and more yeah. to get it to work, but yeah. I'm sure this competition will be very useful yeah. for figuring out everything with that. Great robot here. Great to see you guys out here. Good luck at your event, Week Zero, and with all of your events this season. Thank, Thank you. you so much, so much. For this video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. At Kettering University, over 30% of the student population was in high school robotics. These same students have received a portion of over $7 million in scholarships. Scholarship applications for first students are now available. Get more information at kettering.edu slash first. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.